Welcome guys back to our video on the channel, Terrax, more GTA 5 online, and today, as you can tell, with the title and thumbnail, and also what's on your screen currently, we're going to be looking at the new, uh, I believe it's the, let's go and hop in, actually see the name, because it is just kind of a bunch of letters and numbers, the LM87, which if you don't know, is actually based off the uh, Mercedes Sauber C9, um, so yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and bring it into the modification shop, and get uh, started but either way so armor upgrades pretty simple 100 percent uh race brakes engine okay exhaust so it comes out the side um so we have the stock the twin chrome twin carbon big bore um oval uh plated plated big bore Okay, um, also I kind of like the plated ones more, and I think we'll do, um, I think we'll just do, like, I think we'll just do, uh, actually, I'll say I think I'm going to save the stock, honestly. Um, intercooler with fans or with water spray, I think, with fans, because that's more noticeable of a change. Hood, um, stock hood. Clean street, clean competition. I had some fan or some uh, events up there. Okay, NACA has like those little things right there. Competitive events, bridged hood. Okay, bridge street hood and I think bridge street hood maybe. Or no, bridge, just the bridge to it, I think, is actually, yeah, I think we'll do with that. Right there, I like that. Um, lights, Xeons, liveries, so we have, these are all going to be racing liveries, obviously, because, well, it's very obviously a race car, so, racing numbers, racing stripe, um, long bank, which, kind of cool one, um, Mian match, at least I believe that's how you pronounce it, hard stand, Atomic, Fugaru, um, Benefactor, Redwood Cigarettes, Debonair, and then nothing, um, I mean it's a race car, so we're gonna pick one of these, um, I feel like we go with this one, honestly, I kinda like this one, just one of the more simplistic ones, rather than one of the complex ones, I like this one, let's go with it. Uh, mirrors. I'll always keep them stock for now. Mud guards. That's interesting. Like mud guard. Never seen a mud guard like that. But uh, now nah, let's leave it. It's fine. Plate is black. Respray. So primary color. Let's see. So obviously you have the livery that's black. Could you like a silver? Have like a silver and black. Um. What is like a race car? I don't think it would, I mean, if anything, it would probably just be white and black if it was a race car, but I think I kind of like the idea of the silver, honestly, like this. Right here. You know, yeah, I like that. Just the silver and the black. Just keep it simple, because, I mean, it is a race car, like, not much you can really do to it. Uh, mirrors get changed by that color. Okay. Um, why not? We're going to make these white. Um, because, why not? There you go. So, yeah, the white. Um, mirrors, sunstrip, um, honestly, why not? kind of like sunstrips. I like them on most cars, and I bet that looks good there. Okay, so, stock skirt, um, clean skirt with exit, which is like that. Deep vent with exit. Okay, painted long vent. Okay, and a black long vent. Okay, um, I think, I was thinking this one right here, actually we'll go with that one right there. Okay, splitters, um, black stock splitter, or splitter, primary stock splitter, secondary, um, added those little things, is that it? And just added those. Now has more little fins there, like holding it. Now it just has that in the middle. I don't know, that's a stock. Okay. 
Um, is there anything I like this one? And then, what do, yeah, just all the black, the all black one. Spoiler, um, stock, primary stock spoiler, which it says benefactor on it. Um, let's see. Pretty much all the same spoilers other than what they say on them. I think. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. All these are the same, but we got a different spoiler now. Okay. I think, honestly, I don't think I like it. I think I'll go with this one right here. Go with the carbon one. Yeah, I'll go with the carbon one right there. I like that one like that. Um, no lowered suspension. I don't like lowering the suspension on my cars. Transmission, turbo, wheel type. Um, these are wheels that are already in the game, I believe. I just need to find out what category they're actually in, and yeah. Okay, so I just got some of these, uh, I just got bigger variants of the tires. Go ahead and put bulletproof tires on them. There we go. And then we have windows, which only darkens the side, obviously not the front windshield or anything. So, honestly, it's a race car. Why not? Just limo it. Might ways. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's everything. So let's go ahead and exit and, uh, see how good this thing is in terms of, like, speed and handling. Because it is a race car, so... It should be pretty good. Honestly, how to start, it has a bit of spin off the start, but once it gets going and gets that grip. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this thing's really good. Okay, this thing. Yeah, you don't know how to spin out with this. This thing definitely has. Never mind, as I almost spin out, literally. Um. This thing definitely has some traction, that's for sure. Um. Okay, random local being in the way. But yeah, this thing definitely has some, uh, traction. Uh, now let's test it right here. What speed can we turn a corner? Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Um, don't have to hit the brakes that much. I mean, it has a bit of a wide turning radius, but then again, it's better than most cars, to be fair, so. It's actually, it's, it's, it's a pretty good car. Obviously, it's a race car, so. Main thing it's going to be focusing on is traction and then handling, mainly, so. But yeah, pretty good car. I'm going to go test this top speed at the airport, and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and right before we go ahead and go for the uh, top speed run, I did want to go and check out the interior of this, since I did forget to do that. So go ahead and go to all, and as you see, the entire car opens up. So in the front, we have the fans that we actually got to customize, which was odd that that's a customization option, but it is. I mean, actually, a bit of a detail with the suspension and everything, which is kind of cool. Um, you have the inside, which pretty much is just a fire extinguisher, and then nothing but what is needed just the few switches you need and then speedometer and things like that your gear that's pretty much all that's on the inside because this is a race car one seat um in the back i mean you got an engine you got more detail the suspension as well which is always nice to see but yeah i mean that's pretty much it so yeah let's go ahead and uh, get to uh testing how fast this thing can go Okay guys, here we are for the run with its top speed. So, so far we're at, we're already at 100. Let's see if we can push it to 120. I, I mean, I would assume it can. I mean, it is a race car. It's hitting 120 now. So 120. Oh, nearly 140 almost before we had to stop there. Um, so I'll try to see if I can get some more speed and see how quick it can actually go. Okay, guys, here we are for an attempt of how fast it can go. We're already above 100 at this point at 110. Um, 120. Okay, it's pushing it. We're at 130. Still going, so this isn't even long enough for it to hit 140, but I think it could hit 140 if it got a long enough straightaway, which I guess at that point doesn't really matter because that amount of straightaway you're never really going to see in GTA. 
But either way, so about 130 was the top speed I could get on the airport. Probably could go 135, maybe even 140. Um, I just don't have enough space to get the top speed, but yeah. Um, either way, pretty quick car. And uh, yeah, either way, if you guys did enjoy this video, I just don't forget to leave, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.